I think like one of like our key pillars is just education, mm-hmm. right? And a lot of the times when people reach out, they're like, hey, I've been following you for a few years, a few months. You've taught me X, Y, Z. I'm now ready to buy. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like that's kind of what mom mentioned, like the value add. I think one of our big philosophies for Instagram and real estate was when I was looking at other realtors when I got into the game, I'm like, everyone's posting like sold this, sold that, you know, like it's just like a portfolio of what they've done, which is great. And you still need that. But at the end of the day, I'm like, if I'm not actively looking for a home or to sell my home, why would I follow this person? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we, we were always like, okay, how can we create a page in a community where regardless if you're buying or not, you want to follow, you know, like provide value in whatever that may be. Yeah. And you mentioned, I think this ties into something you mentioned earlier about real estate agents being realtors versus business people. Yes. I love that. So let's Mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah. Well, you know, we come from the business background first and I think so many people get into real estate because they're good at selling or they're really into the real estate side. And so they don't have those same business foundations, but they also just are kind of mirroring what we saw a lot of the traditional realtors do, right? Do real estate until they retire. And I think a lot of the younger generation also don't necessarily want that route, but we see they either build to the point of burnout or to the point of quitting or just like getting where they think they want to go and being like, oh man, like I didn't have a plan once I got here. I don't really want to be here. Um, So I think approaching it as a business, you know, saying what is my marketing strategy, right? Like, am I building an email list? Um, Am I posting just to post? Because at that point you might as well be off Instagram, right? Like, am I actually thinking about what content is here to build community? What content is here to actually convert? Um, And then that's where you see the, the big difference. Like Josh has had multiple times where, you know, somebody reaches out on a Sunday, they see a house Tuesday and by Wednesday, they've got the offer accepted because of that build of they understand the market, they understand how the offers work and like the relationship is there. So I think that's really important. And I think that really is putting on the business hat and not just saying the classic, like I sold a house, I sold a house, here's the house I sold. I think the number one question is asking yourself like, why would people follow me as a realtor all year round? Yeah, yeah, super important. And Mm -hmm. I, I can speak on that too because when I first got into it, I deleted all my personal pictures <laughs> and then it's like, bang, posted the standard, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like dead into the camera, <laughs> no smile. It's like, <laughs> yeah. why in the hell would you use me though? Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. I never understood that. Mm-hmm. never understood it. So then I started to get more, a lot more personal and then I did that early, thankfully, but mm-hmm. I'm a big, yeah. I always looked at myself as like, I'm not Matt Campoli, the realtor. I'm Matthew Campoli. Yeah. I just happened to sell real estate. Exactly. Yeah, and isn't it such a more enjoyable experience to go look yeah. at houses with someone that feels like a friend exactly. that will give that honest opinion, but you can also talk about the game last night, right? It doesn't yeah. always have to be like our parents' old distant family friend yeah. that we feel stuck with, right? Sure. I think it helps people. There's a realtor for everyone. We always say like you could lose out just because someone has Star Wars in common with a client, mm-hmm. and that's something you can't beat. And social gives you that space, especially for new realtors. You don't have the 30 years of experience to tout about, right? So being like, okay, well, this is who I am as a person someone can go well I relate to that and that's who I want on my side yeah and and to this date like my for the longest time my my biggest client reached out to me on Instagram because we had the same dog they're like hey we have very similar (laughs) dogs I'm looking to relocate to Ottawa from Toronto I want you as my agent I'm like sweet we hopped on a call connected again with our dogs had other similar interests and they were amazing when you say biggest, like got like a decent sized deal. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It was nice. my biggest deal, and then I, I beat it in the fall. But nice. yeah, for the longest time, it was my biggest deal. Awesome. And did the dogs come to the showing? Uh, <laughs> no. We close. It was it was more okay. COVID, but and then they're relocating. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, definitely put in the clause. Dog needs to visit first before. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Me, very standard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Love that. I think that's a side two people forget about is they go, well, I have a local business. Uh-huh. Like I'm only going to do so much on Instagram. Right. Um, but the global access is crazy. Right. Whether it's getting referrals from other realtors, like Josh will get a lot of people reaching out to him saying, I have a client because there's something to look up. Right. If you just said like Josh Reyes and he's not online, it's like a standard website that just has listings. You're not really sure who you're getting. Whereas if someone refers him, they can actually reach out. Realtors can find him. And we've had a lot of that where people are relocating to Ottawa or, you know, through our powerlifting community we built too, you know, someone from Brampton will know a friend that's moving to Ottawa and say, I have a realtor for you. So you really can leverage a much wider community. Yep. And that's the beautiful thing about social, right? Like, Mm -hmm. like she said, if you have trust from whatever industry or business you were prior, Mm -hmm. once you have that trust with someone, it doesn't, it almost doesn't matter what you're like selling or what you're getting into next they'll refer you.